Today is May 31st, 2021. My name is Father Trout, and I would like to welcome you to the season finale of today. Let me be the first to say that it has been, my brothers and sisters, an incredible experience ministering to you on this third season. And I look forward, my brothers and sisters, to so, so many more. On behalf of myself and the Today team, I would like to thank you for your support. And we look forward to join, for you joining us in season four. With that out of the way, my brothers and sisters, let us begin. Today, my brothers and sisters, we'll be focusing on a time in the church that we recognize as the visitation of St. Mary to St. Elizabeth. And it is very interesting to note, my brothers and sisters, that the visitation falls liturgically when it happened historically. If Jesus was born in December, then Mary would have conceived Jesus in late March. And St. John the Baptist was born in late June. And it was between these two bookends that pregnant Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth. Perhaps it was in about late May. However, it is the Gospel of St. Luke, my brothers and sisters, that recounts for us so many details of Mary's life that otherwise remain untold. The visitation is the first time that Mary publicly exercises her role as mediator of the Son of God. God choose not only to chose not only to become a man, but to become such in a way that he was born like you and I. Even further, Christ present in Mary's womb, it radiates outward in the words and gestures of faith which arise from Elizabeth and her child John. You see, Jesus' cousin is said to have leapt for joy inside of Elizabeth's womb. And in return, Elizabeth reacts by speaking those gracious words. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. You see, friends, Elizabeth is a prophet, and we are her hearers. For a prophecy to be a prophecy, it has to become true. Elizabeth's words were true, and Elizabeth's words are true. Mary is indeed a blessed among women, and her fruit has indeed changed the world. Mary's humility, it, my friends, it's indescribable. She praises the source of all goodness, God, rather than the goodness of our own generosity. All things, save evil, can be traced back to God. And Mary is at the head of the trail in clearing the tangled path overgrown since sin into the world through Adam and Eve. And with mankind close behind, Mary leads us, my brothers and sisters, back to discover a new, a new, the source of all truth, goodness, and beauty. And it is for this reason why today, May 31st, we remember all churches dedicated to the visitation of Our Lady to St. Elizabeth. Let us take a moment now and let us go to God in prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, by your grace, the Virgin Mary of your incarnate Son was blessed in bearing him but still more blessed in keeping your word. Grant us who honor the exaltation of her lowliness to follow the example of her, dev her devotion to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, before we go, I would like to state that we will be taking a few days off so that we can recuperate. However, we will be back for episode two, sorry, episode two <laughs> of season four on Monday, June the 7th. However, due to our first anniversary falling in our break time, 
episode one will be a special episode that will air on June the 3rd, 2021. And this episode will be used to mark our first year anniversary. My brothers and sisters, we look forward to you joining us as we continue to make today our best day. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters, until we meet again. Thank you.